back to the channel, folks. I figure I'd just uh, give y'all a quick update of what's going on. Still kind of moving around kind of slow from the last race. I got a busted up knee, so I uh, got to take a few breaks every once in a while. But I uh, figured I'd give y'all a walk around the shop and see uh, what projects I got going on and uh, where everything kind of stands. But today I'm going to be trying to work on the old uh, rat rod tub wagon project. So I kind of got to mock a little exhaust up because I can't figure everything else out until I kind of get the engine welded into place. But uh, what we're going with got a belt here then I got the uh, 40 series driver this is what I'm gonna put on the engine and then I've got to figure out uh, my distance from the uh, center shaft back here to the engine crankshaft so I can get my dimensions and then get the rear end squared up lined up so that's my game plan today is to try and get this thing up and going that way I can uh, pull the wheels and everything off run the engine just kind of mock it up and see how the drive line and everything is going to work before I really uh, get everything welded into place. But that's kind of the goal for today since I finished the Motovox uh, bike. Now I can get back on this thing and get something done. But hopefully uh, hopefully everything will work out. If not, we'll just cut it off and re-weld it. But that's where we're at on that. So, oh, I almost dropped the camera again. My knee's a little on the wobbly side. Uh, what else we got going on? Oh, the Gambler bike. Let's spin you around and take a look at that. We got the Gambler bike back up and going. Uh, Got all the carnage from the last 180 race. Got all that repaired. Touched up some spots with some paint. Uh, I did go through the engine on this thing because it had so many, so many hard hours on it. But we got that rascal put back together. And uh, another project. Yep, we're going to be working on two more projects again. If y'all haven't watched uh, in a previous video, uh, my good buddy Tommy Sr. Uh, come down to my surprise birthday party, my 50th birthday party, and gave me... This Cat Duster MX. Let's see if we can't zoom in on the sticker. Yeah, it's a Duster MX. So, we got a, uh, when I got all the stuff done for the Moto Box, I also had uh, a bunch of the parts chrome for this thing the front end, the bars, stars for the uh, wheels. Then I got to looking at it and I'm like, yeah, this frame got a little on the tweak side, but it'll be all right. So, if this interests you and you are new to the channel, go over there and hit that subscribe button so you uh, see the progress of how this thing goes. And for a power plant, I got sitting on the table. Oh, good buddy down there in Colorado, or up there in Colorado, buddy Jeremy. Uh, we did some wheeling and dealing, and uh, he had this thing laying around. He knows I like the old Tecumseh motors to put back on the old bike. So he had this laying around. We worked something out. Pretty cool. So I got this thing up and running. Actually runs extremely good. Had to go through the carburetor and put a carburetor together for it. Um, I don't know why the gas tanks mounted crazy like that. I guess it was on a go-kart or something. I have no idea, but because it does have a clutch on it. But this thing runs really good. Doesn't rattle, doesn't smoke. Uh, purrs like a kitten. So that is going to be the bike, or we're going to put this on the cat bike. So it keeps it somewhat period correct. And I think this was a H... HS40, I do believe. So I think it's a four horse. Anyway, so that's what we got going on there. Oh, and uh, if y'all haven't seen these, y'all got an MB200 or bike that you want to upgrade your shocks on. Uh, these are the new uh, nitrogen shocks from Go Power Sports. Uh, they are, let's see if we can zoom in, they are adjustable. So you can adjust with the two jam nuts here, your preload uh, for your shock or whatever. They already got the grommets, the eyelets, and all that stuff in it. Um, I do believe they are 11 inch from eyelet to eyelet, but they'll bolt right on to a uh, MB200. Now, I rode both bikes. Now, these are the shocks that I have on it now, which are, uh, they're better than a, the factory shock by all means. Um, but after riding the two bikes side by side with the nitrogen shocks versus the shock like this with the factory ones, the nitro nitrogen shocks are uh, a way more comfier ride. And, uh, the price on them is not very expensive at all, so might even check those out. And yeah, let's see what else we got going on. Oh, I got some cool stickers from the guys down at uh, the Daryl Starbird Show. Got a little mini bike coalition, and uh, raced with some of the guys from the DFW. We did some sticker swapping uh, when I met Ed Roth down there, or little daddy Ed Roth fixed me up with the sticker. So, and then uh, got this one right here. If I can zoom in on it, 
Uh, this fella here, check out his YouTube channel. I'll hold that right there so you can uh, get a look at it. But uh, he posts up a lot of cool videos from the Daryl Starbird show. So if you didn't catch all of them or whatnot, go check them out. So I'm going to get all those on the old uh, sticker toolbox today and get on to uh, trying to get this here project done. So that's where we're at. I can flip this around. <coughs> Excuse me. Ugh. Uh, so anyway, figure I give y'all a quick update of what all I got going on. And uh, like I said, if I uh, see something that might tickle your fancy, now's a good time to go over there and hit the subscribe bell. It'd be greatly appreciated. And give me a thumbs up. That'd be appreciated also. So y'all stay tuned. I'm going to turn this thing off and I'm going to see what I can get done today. We'll see y'all in the next video. Y'all take care.